Well, really quickly, the uh, Josh Duggar case has finally worked its way through the court and has been finalized. The jury didn't take that long. They took about a day and a half total, but Josh Duggar has been found guilty on all counts. The two counts that he faced, both felonies in this case, and he will now spend you know excess of probably 20 years in prison for what he did. I knew the prosecution in this case, they did such an excellent job of documenting every aspect of the case, how he received the pornography, how he downloaded it, how he accessed it, where he was at the time, text messages that showed that he was going to be at the dealership when nobody else was there and the pornography was downloaded, the minute by minute accounting of actually his computer usage that day on the computer. There was no way Josh Duggar's defense was ever going to come back from that damning you know, bit of evidence. So now, Josh Duggar has been found guilty of possession of child pornography, a felony, and you know, receiving um, actual porn child pornography. Both of them carry, you know, uh, overall, the standard sentencing range is 20 years. But he could get a lot more. He could get less. But right now, he is being held uh, there. He was taken into custody you know, immediately after you know, Lafayette, uh, you know, Arkansas. And he will have actual sentencing in approximately three to four months from now. It all depends upon how long the COVID backlog you know, is in the, with the court system until he's actually sentenced. But again... In reiteration, Josh Duggar has been found guilty of possession and receiving child pornography. Just like we all knew, as if you've been following this case all along, he was guilty of it. We knew he did it. There was no zealous prosecution that came after him just because of his high-profile name. It had nothing to do with that. Guilty on all counts.